We're here at NAM on the Rupert Neves design booth with Jonathan, and he's going to show us this um, Bell Flanger, which I believe you're distributing. Yes, we are. And this kind of looks like the older Bell Flanger, but I believe it's kind of old and new at the same time. Exactly. Um, one of the things our friends at Bell have done, and, and they're known for their great broadcast gear and high level, very specific application specific things, is we were looking and talking to them about the old Bell Flanger, which of course is on the Yes Records, even things like Tears for Fears, classic flanger. Um, a lot of people feel that in the box flanging isn't deep enough, doesn't offer the same kind of control, and doesn't really feel like a classic flanger. So we said, why not bring back that design, update it, put it in a 500 series chassis, but offering all the stuff you want. You can trigger the flange, it has control voltage, it'll do real cross flanging. All of the stuff that you expect out of a flanger, so you get that wide, deep, super articulate growl or sound out of it. Um, that, again, hasn't been done that well in the box. There are many things that work well in the box. A lot of people are dissatisfied with the sound, of course, and flanging in the box. So this is built with new old stock chips. Um, it's built by the guys who built the original one. Um, nice updates in terms of packaging, a little bit of control stuff in there, um, ready to go right out of the box. We, so, price and shipping? Uh, it is. It should be shipping uh, probably within the next 30 days, and uh, uh, price is $11.99. That's dollars. Yeah. It is, in dollars. That's great. Thanks, Jonathan. Thank you very much.